Hi and uh, welcome to this tutorial on how to make your footage look like it was shot on the uh, mini DV tape format. Now I made a preset for you guys here. So uh, all you have to do is import your footage. I have footage of a dancer here. And I'm going to put that in um, the pre-comp called your footage here. There you go. And right now it's way too big. It's a uh, 4K footage trying to fit inside a um, an SD composition. So what you can do is uh, press uh, Control shift alt g I believe, and that will fit the footage to the height of the comp. You can also do it by going to Transform and Fit to Comp Height. Now let's go to the DV Render pre-comp. And if you open up the DV controls, all the controls I've made for you. The first one is Interlace. Now what this does is um, emulating the typical interlacing you have on old tape footage. So it takes two instances of the, your footage. The one instance is uh, divided into 240 lines and offset it by however many frames it's in this box. Right now it's set to one, which yields the best results, I think. And usually for interlaced footage, this happens every 60th or every 50th of a second. But right now it happens every 30th of a second, because as you can see, we're in 30 frames per second. The next checkbox is uh, color fringe. If you turn that on, you can see what that does. It um, takes the extreme colors and adds a bit of uh, chromatic aberration, as you can see here. The next one is um, compression artifacts. Now this one is not really realistic in terms of uh, emulating the DV footage style, but um, if you crank that up, you can see some compression artifacts, which um, <clears throat> depending on your footage could look um, interesting. I'm gonna set that to uh, zero again. And uh, if you work with um, DV footage before, sometimes if there's a bad connection in your Firewire, you get some import errors. As you can see here, these little boxes showing up. So I try to emulate that effect as well. And if you go down here and uh, click this shy layer here, you can see all of the effects and all of the expressions used. And by the way, I'll show you real quick how to turn a layer on and off using a checkbox. We'll just add a new solid here. Control Y to do a new solid. Hit OK. We add a checkbox control. And then on the opacity, we hold Alt and click. And we're going to do a simple if else statement. So I'm going to do if this checker box is zero, zero is off. And by the way, I'm using two equal signs because one equal sign is used to define a variable. So I'm gonna use two equal signs to define uh, an equal. Is zero. So what this says is that if this checker box is off, we want the opacity to be zero. And then anything else we want it to be a hundred percent so we can check that real quick and there you go a simple way to turn your layer on and off using a checkbox control that was a quick way to make your footage look like it was shot on the mini dv tape format you can download the preset in the description and i see you guys next time Let's <laughs> go.